Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Epson XP2100 printer ready for chipless printing. Because Inkchip gives us a really awesome solution for chipless printing. The Inkchip provides the best way to update the printers with chipless firmware. We can update our Epson printer with the ink chip um, chipless solution and we set ourselves free from worrying about chips all we need for printing is just um, keeps our ink level up that is all no trouble anymore with replace cartridge or reset the chip we have the full ink level all day long we print as much as we wish with no limits. That means no chip system. We forget about chips. We update once and use forever. And it's really easy to use. We update our printer on our own at home. We no need an experts or a service center. Always we will need a key and two programs. So let's perform this flashing now. It's really easy. The um, updating process needs, of course, the printer. And we will need the print firmware into a chipless. Um, we will need the ink chip firmware program compatible with our printer model. We will need the ink chip activation program compatible with our printer model and a computer with the Windows operation system and the internet access, of course. We will need a USB cable. This is a printer USB cable and the ink chip activation key. The ink chip activation key we can purchase on the ink chip um, website. And then we can start to make this printer chipless anymore. So let's start. We are going to connect the printer to a Windows computer. For this, we're using a USB cable. And this USB cable is, is an old school printer to USB cable, as you can see. And after this, we um, we paired them easily by pushing the USB cable into the printer and the other side the USB plug into our computer or a netbook or a notebook with Windows operation system. After this, we turn on the printer, of course. Next step is we go to inkchip.net or inkchip.net um, homepage, of course. And when we download the inkchip firmware and the inkchip activation tool for our printer model from the inkchip.net. In this case, it's an, X -Pack, an XP. 2100 but it's possible to do this on on a big bunch of um, printers out there with that firmware because they are using um, the same firmware for it okay we launched the ink um, chip firmware program on our computer after we unpack all by using the RAR file then we go to inkchip.net firmware and of course we read the instruction and we read every um, the license agreement that the marker the uh, post it i agree and then click the button to next we click um, to start the button and accept the warning about updating the firmware of course and then it's time to push start and at this point the chipless inf uh, firmware will be downloaded to the printer because the printer is linked by the USB cable okay with the computer the firmware progress will be shown on the display the completion of the process of the downloading the firmware of the printer will be indicated by the reboot of the printer if the firmware progress freeze for more than 30 minutes we unplug the power cord and start printer manager with only one turn on okay and then the first step of this process is done that means the new firmware is on our apps and device and then we can yeah go to the next thing 
after we reboot the printer and of course download the activation tool from inkchip.net, we turn on the printer in normal mode. We are using for that the power button and run the inkchip activation program on the computer. The inkchip activation selects our printer model and click the activation online button. In the windows that opens, we enter the activation key and click OK. The program will send a request to the inkchip.net server and activate the chipless information. An activation key can be purchased at inkchip.net. The key has a limited validation period and is suitable for only one specific printer, of course. And then it's better to save the firmware recovery code, which will be generated in the appropriated program window. This code will be needed if it is necessary to restore the chipless firmware. We turn off the printer. Using the power button, the device is flashed into a chipless version. Jobs done easily, as you can see. But take care, you will need the recovery code if you uh, like to go back, okay? After rebooting now, that's all, okay? We are finished here. That's all. The only thing we have to activate, push activate online in the activation tool. And then of course we have to, um, to store the recovery code. Then we have to reboot the Epson printer and we can see the printer is um, unchipped. There is no chip requirement anymore. That means Inkchip gives us a solution for chipless printing now. Inkchip updating the list of supporting adding chipless solution for all new models, of course. And here it comes with that Epson XP 2100 with a really good running version. And it goes so easy, as you can see. And then it's time to print <sighs> without place cartridge with at the chips uh, or other information. We are only on a run. Of course, we have to check our ink status by ourselves and we have to reload the ink into our cartridge system easily at ourselves. So we can save money and we do the best for our planet. This is easy as you can see. There are only a, mm, only, I think it, it was only five steps to make a good old printer out of it without chip. Ink chip does a good solution for it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon. Oh, of course. You should not perform an update via the absent servers because the absent server will give you an absent firmware so maybe you will delete this um, update process check thumb in your taskbar okay that it is and of course keep your ink up all day long because an empty ink will get some um, oxygen bubbles into your printer head and this is not so healthy for the printer itself. But here you can see it works. The cartridge information are unknown. Yes, that it is. And they are always full. Oh yeah. So now, soon soon.